confident that Fury, of course, can play. Now, Solid uh, Ezreal. Cassidy is kind of interesting. And we'll see where that goes. I would imagine it's going to be mid lane, since we have seen Shire on that Lulu in the past. Well, this would be the default champion that Coco would go to. Yeah. Now, the question is, does Shy play Cassidy? And I don't really know the answer to that. It's not something that we've really seen him on too much. Yeah, you know, whereas Coco has had, you know, it's been a long time, but he has had very good games on Cassidy in the past. But yeah, it's, it's we're talking a, long past, though. No, well, I mean, he's played it. I mean, he plays it when he has the chance to. He's certainly a very good, still a very good Cassidy player, and we do see a, a lot of bands of Kasten targeted at him. Oh, the double AP. Mundo wouldn't be a bad pickup for the top lane for Kuve. Uh, if he can get there. The problem with Samsung's draft, I feel a lot of the time, Doa, is that in their last series, they picked Tristana very early, and they tried to farm Fury into the late game, and they sort of played protect the Fury, uh, but they couldn't even get into the late game, so yeah. they lost pretty quickly. This game, they have an Ezreal who needs to build tier, a Mundo who needs to farm up, and a Cassiopeia who needs to build stacks. When we've seen Samsung be successful, it's been with early game team compositions. And yet again, for the second match in a row, we see them sort of playing to the late game. And that is, I'm not sure this is going to work. It may not work, but it, you know, is this maybe a good thing to do though for Samsung? You know, win or lose, they need that experience. They need to start focusing more on things that aren't just all in pit comps, you know? It's kind of the long-term goal, I feel. I mean, yeah, maybe practice, maybe scrims are a better time to run that, but if you're not going to get experience with it in the booth, you know, when are you going to get experience with it? Well, we'll see if it works out for them this game. Coco will be on that Cassidy in the mid lane, shy on the top Lulu in this game, so yeah. pretty standard for these players, and we will see Bliss actually running the Ghost and Flash to get that extra mobility in team fights, which very useful on Cassiopeia, considering you need to be in, to maximize your damage, you really have to be in constantly spamming your twin fangs. Yeah, oh, it's just switched to a uh, barrier at the end there. Oh. Yeah, I thought we were going to have the old uh, Dade throwback summoners. <laughs> now, I, I'm sure if Dade played Cassiopeia, he would run uh, Ghost with that. If you if you have good team fight positioning and a good sense of dodging skill shots and what cooldowns are up, you can absolutely do that with Cassiopeia. It's a devastating effect. Yep, well, here we go, guys. Game one between CJ Antis and Samsung. CJ wanting to up that win percentage. Can they do it against a hurting Samsung? Let's get in the game and find out. All right, here we go. And look at this, CJ immediately moving into this top jungle as we start the first game of the day. Clearly, something is afoot on the CJ side. Yeah. Interesting opening. Yeah. Bliss slithering yeah. into lane. And let's see where they're going to go with this invade. Five people into top try. Kuve's already waiting there. He's going to see Shy. Now he's going to see everybody else. Bad Life gets hit by a cleaver. Yeah. He'll take out that ward before it goes it, in though. Viz. And we're, will we see a lane swap here is the question. Oh, we'll Kube. <laughs> I think we're going to maybe see uh, some really deep wards. Yeah, we will. One going down from Mad Life. Okay, that is so. a very unique place for the ward. It's in the brush and river. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. That's really unusual. I don't think I've ever seen a ward put there in a Korean game. Yeah. I don't or really any game. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that either. You have to walk into the river to do that. However, some... Some dual lanes, if they're trying to hide the lane swap, will hide in that brush yeah. before, or the top laner will hide in that brush before the game starts. Uh, so they could be trying to detect that. True. However, Samsung responding with deep wards of their own down on the bottom side. And we will, looks like, get standard lanes this game. Should be better for CJ this way. They should have two winning matchups, presumably. Yep. I like that Cassiopeia skin. She has snakes on her head. See, that's the uh, the new Riot meta. You know, put more heads and, or mouths on whatever whatever exists before. <laughs> more heads, more snake heads on Cassiopeia's head. It's like, yo, Cassiopeia, I heard you like snake heads, so I put snake heads on your snake heads so you can, <laughs> I don't know, hiss while you twin fang. I, hiss while you hiss. I have no idea. Even twin fang. That's two. Yeah. Two fangs. <laughs> or four fangs. It really should be quadra fang now, shouldn't it? So many fangs. Yeah. 
Or I guess if it's six total, you know, two for each little mini head and one for the regular one. Hexafang. Well, we can there wait for go. that skin. So many fangs from Cassiopeia. <laughs> Hexafang, Cassiopeia. So oh. a little bit of trading going on right here. Not too much. Space and Mad Life happy to play into their turret. They're going to lose the race to level two. Yeah, I guess so. A little bit of action from Wraith and Fury. Nice trading on the Mad Life there. Wraith and Fury, Fury, though, taking a lot of damage, too. Yeah, that's the issue, though, is you really don't yeah. want your AD to take the damage. Mad Life will have a ton of pots that he can just heal up with. Well, that's the thing, is that with Janna, you can't heal your carry. You can only shield them. So it is it is a bit annoying when your carry starts to get poked so pretty hard like this. Let's take a look at some stats, some statistics, if you will, for these two champions. Wraith getting a lot of assists on that Janna. But again, that's pretty much Janna for you. Well, it's, I mean, it has been his best champion. We've seen him yeah. make some really cool Flash Monsoon plays, uh, sure. picking up double kills in lane for Fury. So this is Samsung at their best. They do flounder a bit in the lane swap. That is where they are weak right now, is in terms of that shot calling as to how to react in a lane swap situation. Now, CJ not choosing to take advantage of that this game, and Samsung will be happy with that. Their dual lane is very strong yep. in the laning phase. Well, for now, just a lot of poking going on, but Fury and Wraith do have that little level advantage for the moment. Going for the crab early. Yeah. And he will be coming uh, in here, but ward. it's not going to, they don't see Eve yet. Yeah, as soon as he leaves that brush, they'll see him. Will Space and Mad Life push up farther, though? That's the question. Yeah, Ambition just going to keep farming, at least for the moment. Has picked up that Trailblazer. Yeah. Eve has not gone out. back yet. Still just a machete. Well, he wants to. I mean, he's kind of invested in this at this point. Yeah. He wants to make a play as oh. it pushes up. He is going to eventually head out, though. It's like Cassidy actually winning the battle of farm in the mid lane so far. Ambition clearing a ward. So pretty. Passive play so far, Mundo for yeah. pushed into the turret. No surprise in the yeah. lane against the Lulu. Lulu's a big bully, it's true. Or maybe a little bully, I guess, more technically correct. Wow, Coco trading really effectively with Cassiopeia as well. And I suppose that makes sense. He's out of mana now, though. Cassiopeia is a champion that takes some time to ramp. And yeah. when you're trying to lay down that poison, have those dots, you can get it blocked pretty easily by the magic shield from Coco. Yep. Coco. The, uh, the movement speed is not going to help you dodge things from Cassidy. Oh, here we go. Ambition coming in. They get the flash out of Bliss immediately. Bliss really low. A flash from Coco. And first blood goes to Coco. That's big, man. Getting that first blood gold on the mid laner. Bliss is in trouble now. Well, Bliss was spamming his Miasma onto the minion wave to push it up. I think he was about to go back right there instead. Yeah. Ambition finds the right timing. Well, he did get to go back. He just... Had to take the death train instead of the recall. <laughs> well, you can see a little bit of a lack of synergy there between Eve and Bliss, because really, that's a calm error, because Eve was sitting down in that bottom side, and really, Bliss should be communicating where his wave is. And in an ideal situation, Eve would be reading that and listening to Bliss, and it would be backing him up, literally just standing there, either to the side behind the turret, or you know, to the side behind the river, just waiting for that lane to push up if Bliss needs to back to make it as safe as possible instead. Yeah. And you do want that early back with Cassiopeia too because you, you want to get that tier as fast as possible. So I think that is just a, that's a strategic error made by Samsung and mm -hmm. something that is shows, I think, their, their rather weak communication. Their noviceness, their newness. Well, we'll see if Bliss goes for that same build that we saw uh, Easy Hoon go, which was uh, the tier into Abyssal. So getting some of that tankiness. Yeah. Getting a couple twin fangs off onto Coco there, but Coco not going to take a whole lot of damage from this yet. Well, Coco already has the health crystal, so he's yeah. got the combat stats. Meanwhile, Cassiopeia just trying to get the, pool, the stacks up on herself as well as stack up the tier, so, so Bliss is going to need to play quite passively. So it looks like Coco's going for Rod of Ages, but he went for the Blasting Wand and the Ruby Crystal before the, instead of just like the Catalyst first or something. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, what do you think? He had more money, is what that tells me. Yeah. So if he has more money, he wants to poke even harder. And if he knows that Bliss is going to be coming back into lane with just a tier, 
Not an additional Doran's Ring, no well. other combat stats. Getting the Blasting Wand, he's going to be able to just abuse the poke on her and use that extra AP. Look at that damage oh, already. Yeah. So so that's worth giving up a little bit of extra stats that you might get from the Catalyst. But he doesn't, like, the thing is he wants to press this advantage. He knows that both summoners are down on Bliss, so he wants. To, I think he wants to make his all-in as strong as possible with the Blasting Wand, Makes which sense. if Ambition continues to gank, it certainly will be. Yeah. Checks up. Oh, recall from Mad Life, able to pick up that Sight Stone and a couple pots and Pink Ward. Everything a support would want. Coco continuing to play back too. He's really abusing his control over the wave. In fact, Bliss is so scared at the moment. Wow. He's going to go farm the wolves instead. Yeah. The two-headed wolf. The two-headed wolf. That's right. For the two snakes on her head. Yep. One for each head. I don't know. <laughs> well. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for Samsung already. They have yeah. entirely lost control over the mid lane. Ambition is now camping with Cataclysm because Bliss has no summoners. Eve is there this time, oh. though. Yeah, Ambition could be in trouble. There's a knockup onto Bliss. Ambition needs to get out, though. No, Coco comes in for an easy kill onto Bliss, and Eve can't stop it. There's almost nothing you can do in that situation. Uh, I this suppose is just, so. This is just Ambition. When you have an immobile mid laner like that with no summoners, it's very easy to abuse it as a jungler. So as long as Coco keeps going with Bliss, I mean, Coco getting quite fed right here, but this is how you snowball the lane. And yeah. this is, I mean, and if you play solo queue and you play jungler, you absolutely should do this. If there is an early flash down like this and they don't have any movement abilities, you know you just camp that lane, kill the mid laner over and over and over again and remove them from the game entirely. Might be hard to sleep at night after you do it, but it'll be <laughs> worth it to get the it W. It is dirty, it is dirty. <laughs> You, you feel kind of bad doing it, but you also feel good once Whoa, you get the Oh, look at this. Win. Shy getting a lot of damage in onto Kuve. He did not have his ult up right there, by the way, so that was very nearly a kill. I'm actually surprised that Shy didn't even play more aggressively and he flash fla ult himself yeah. right there. Uh, it would have forced a flash from Kuve. Worst case scenario, you trade one for one. Uh, best case, and then best case, you kill him, so. I would be in there immediately. Flash ult yourself, that'd be an easy kill. Wraith taking some damage from Coco. Samsung trying to go for this dragon. Looks like they may be able to claim it. That's going to be a lot of damage coming in. They do. Eve able to smite that one before Ambition really gets a chance. Yeah, so Space did have to recall. So that was a good call from Samsung, just using that timing. Yep. Uh, Fury going with the tier. Oh, man. These double tier comps are so fragile. This is basically a playground for Ambition to kill people <laughs> right now. Ambition's so, Playhouse? That's, is that where we're in now? <laughs> Boy. I, I would watch Ambition's Playhouse. Do you think he has like a talking couch as well? Too? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. A lot of damage onto Fury there. Ambition always looks so angry as well, so. It's true. I would love to see Ambition's Playhouse with like a, a playful talking couch than him just looking angry. It's like, shut up, couch. <laughs> oh, Fury taking a lot of damage there. Wraith ults to keep them away, and it looks like. Yep. They'll manage to save him, but just like you said, there's just no damage coming out of Samsung in general right now, and it's really easy to just go all in. Yeah, very intelligent all in. You can yep. see Space already has BF and Pickaxe, so there's a massive advantage in terms of stats for the all in right there yeah. coming from CJ. And I just don't get, okay, like I said, we, we saw how Samsung is successful, and that's through playing more for the early game. And these past couple matches, they've just been picking massive scaling. Yeah, I mean, and they just can kind of get clobbered early. And sure, you can be behind at 40 minutes by five, six k gold with their composition and still do okay. But they don't even get to that point. They just collapse in the mid game. Now I'm picturing ambition at the end of the at the end of the night after the matches. He like puts on his helmet with a giant eyeball on it and gets on his scooter and like <laughs> rides home. The official <laughs> CJ scooter. Official CJ eyeball helmet. I'm sure we're going to get more photoshops of that one. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd love to see it. Ambition, oh, he loves to see Wraith in his jungle there, but Wraith has a whirlwind. And that means no gank or no kill. Hmm. That's, hmm. That's an interesting place for a ward, actually. So they're just trying to track all the camps right now. Yep. And make keep sure an eye on those Krugs. They're standing smack down yeah. in a ward at the moment. No. Oh, man. Eve still hasn't switched over. He, oh, yeah. He, he actually doesn't have a sweeping lens yet. Oh, this is actually his build is very odd. He went for Warrior. Huh. 
Tidal wave coming through. Can they catch anyone from Samsung? Eve does get catch the title, the uh, teleport rather, coming down from Shy. He's going to flash. Alt catches Eve, did not catch Fury. Coco, uh -oh. though, coming for the pincer. They'll at least get Eve out of this, and they're going to focus on that. Might as well grab what you know you can take. Yeah, no dragon there, though, so yep. CJ really not getting as much as they would have liked in that situation. Well, they used a lot of summoners and ults for uh, just to kill onto Eve, but it was close. Well, a lot of summoners used to prevent that from happening as well. Yeah. I, it, this was a cute play. I mean, Ambition does go through, try and get the knock up. Well, they got a lot of flashes, too, I suppose. Yeah, they, they got, like, four summoners yeah. as well. So Shy able to secure that kill with the help of Coco, who... Continues to He's becoming the snowball out of control. Yeah, this is getting really scary. We have seen Coco play a game where he got 20 kills on Cassidy. <laughs> this has happened in Champions yes. before. Back when he was on Zenix Storm. Yep. We used to call him the Coco Din. Well, the Coco Din may be back this game. That's right. Much to Samsung's unhappiness. Yep. Well, this is exciting. Get the growling large wolf. Yeah, Fury and Wraith having to just to farm out that Gromp at this point. Can't really get close to the wave. It's going to delay that yeah. tier as well. Wow, and Shy just bulldozes his way through the turret up in top lane. Yeah, nicely done. Yep. This turret really wasn't in very big danger during that last push. And you know, big CS leads opening in the top and mid lane. Yeah. We see CJ take a pretty commanding early lead with two turrets down already. Well, Ambition can just go wherever he wants right now. You know, you see how much Shy is able to push that top lane up because Ambition's in the jungle. He can kind of be there whenever he wants to. And that allows that big pressure in the mid lane really across all lanes right now. Yeah, it's it's not looking good it's a full for Samsung. Press. Yeah, it's all their towers. Now their tier two starting to take a little bit of damage as well as Shy pushes the advantage. Yeah. Up in the top side, Kuve will have to blow his ult soon, or burn it. Shy, meanwhile, has that Morello Namacon just to make sure that Kuve can't heal quite that much when he uses that Mundo ultimate, laying down the Grievous Wounds over and over and over again. Looks like we will see Coco going for the Zonia's Hourglass second, and Space getting perilously close to that infinity edge here at 15 minutes. This is... Wow, that's fast. <laughs> yes, it's very fast. Very fast indeed, so... Yeah, well, look at this. It's already a 6,000 gold lead at about 15 minutes. You, it's it's total, to, total domination. Yeah, you really can't crush anybody harder than CJ is crushing Samsung right now. Well, this is it, though, is that the problem with Samsung is that their solo lanes really just can't hold their own. So yeah. I think you need to prioritize picking like counter picking your solo lanes if you're Samsung and starting just to give just early pick for Fury and Wraith and have have faith that they will do well. I well, mean if you pick for Fury and Wraith, if you pick like you know, Sivir and Janna early in the draft, they're going to be okay. I don't think you need to take the Cassiopeia right here and try and snowball it because yeah. you're gonna just lose the lane. I mean it's it's interesting because like you said, this is a totally different Samsung than what we saw in the preseason. They're really trying to play for the late game now. And while, yes, they need a lot of work in that regard, I feel like their original style is what would have the much, much better chance of winning them games right now. And, and if, you know, why not? Right. Why not go for that? I agree. And to be fair, also, playing these late game champions doesn't give them a lot of practice because they lose yeah. these games so quickly. Well, if they played more for the early game, they could at least get more practice in the booth, shot calling in late game scenarios because they would have a lead and the other team would have to fight back. Yeah, well, that's also a morale thing too, you know. So I don't really get Samsung's strategy. Although, I mean, this was a weird draft. There, This is probably the one, I, I'm not gonna say first because I think there may have been one more. But one of, for sure, one of the very few games where NAR was neither picked nor banned. Oh, yeah, it's true. Really weird. Yeah, it does not happen a whole lot. Uh, same with Lissandra, actually, as well. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's the first game where neither NAR nor Lissandra was picked or banned. Yes, yes. <laughs> I am very sure about that one. We're never going to get to the old, uh, well, maybe, hopefully we'll never get to the, the old days where we had, like, TF 100% pick banned for an entire season. 
Yeah, that, those were the dark times. Yeah, that's right. Champion Spring. One of the dark times. 2013, never forget. League of War Mods, Cleaver Fever. There's, there's been a couple. I think that was the pinnacle of the dark times. Huh. The TF must either be picked or banned every single game. Yeah. yeah. Blame Dade for that one. <laughs> well, uh, CJ just methodically snowballing this one out, moving yeah. confidently from lane to lane, space with that Infinity Edge, and Fury uh, a, wi a ways out from his Trinity Force right now, not able to really do that much. And really the Mundo pick, too. Uh, they they had a, an inkling that it... Oh, here we go. They're oh, going to try to make something happen okay. here, but not the best engage. Yeah. Uh, space just spell shielded the Cassie ult. Yeah. Did not work at all. That was a flash ult, too, from Bliss. Kuve goes in on Ambition. Ambition gets out of there. It's a disengage fairily peacefully. Oh, okay. Cataclysm locks a few people up on Samsung. There comes a tidal wave. Coco, they're trying to burn down Kuve. He's already pretty tanky. Shy just poking from the outside, and Samsung has to retreat. Coco comes in for some damage. Gets that wild growth onto it, but no knock up. <laughs> okay. Ambition just decides to finish off Bliss. That just happened. Just walks up and cues the Cassiopeia. Yep. Wow. Well, Space had had, and Mad Life had had more mana right there. They actually could have done something with that. Shy also. Oh, they're not done yet. Okay. I guess they're just going to keep going. Yep. I mean, Kube doesn't have any real stats to deal with Space's autos with the Infinity Edge. The Dragon up in, uh, well, let's see, a little while yet. So nothing to take off of that. But. CJ continues to increase that lead up to about 7,000 gold now. Yeah, Kuve still no armor, except for now he has a uh, he has a cloth. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this fight and how it went down. Bliss getting poked over the side. But you can see Shy comes in with half mana, so there's just not enough actual abilities that can be used to finish off Samsung right here. Just part of the issue. Coco's just going to flash in. That eh, was a bit questionable. And then Ambition huh. gets poisoned, Poke. but manages to hit the Dragon Lance for the kill. Yep. Well, I suppose big snake people are kind of like miniature dragons. You just gotta, you gotta yeah. turn them into kebabs. I suppose. Dragon kebabs. <laughs> Delicious. But huge. It's like the old, you know, the, in the Flintstones theme where they like put the brontosaurus ribs on the car and it like tips over. It's like that with a dragon kebab too. Just ask Jarvan. Have you ever eaten snake? Grilled steak, though. I haven't. No, that's one of the few meats I have not eaten. Let's see, if you if you go to the Southwest, yeah. you grew up in Colorado where they have a lot of snakes, like I did then. You can try some delicious grilled steak. Well, we had a lot of snakes in like Wisconsin and Minnesota. They just weren't very big. Not a lot of meat on those. And we didn't eat snakes. <laughs> you would eat a snake. They're good. Are they? Yeah. Interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> that's where that's how we we know we've come to the end of this game, Doa, because we're discussing that's, that's eating right. snakes. <laughs> we didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know you were part of the snake meat lobbying uh, organization in the U.S. That's right, snake meat for all. That's my platform. Snake the other, 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 other white meat. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. Well, ambition can feast on some delicious snake. Oh, there we go. Ambition feasting on. Fury right now, just like the Urukai, he desires man flesh. <laughs> that was actually a really bad ult from Ambition. Well, it was. Mad Life, no ult for him, though. Flashes on the True Shot Barrage, and CJ just seems <laughs> incapable of dying this game. Meanwhile, Shy, just the never-ending split, split push machine. I wish he would build Lich Bane if he's going to play like this, but he's not going to. Ambition there, by the way. You don't want to really ult the people who have Arcane Shift. That's the problem. Yeah. It's a little bit sloppy right there. He should be paying more attention, but I think CJ knows how far ahead they are right now and don't yeah, really care. I don't think they're really playing this as tightly as they would normally play a lot of games. And so, the slow, agonizing death of Samsung continues. No, it's not really that slow. We're only 21 minutes into the game. The and they've fairly lost four fast, <laughs> agonizing <laughs> death of Samsung continues there. Uh, it's, uh, is it agonizing? I think this is more of a, a quick a quick execution here. Well, Fury trying to prevent that. Ambition poking Wraith a little bit. CJ is no nothing if not merciful to its victims. That's true. <laughs> or are they just torturing them with hope? <laughs> no, because the, the, hope, the hope is extinguished already, Doa. So you don't, you don't uh, surrender a solo queue game because you never know when your opponents are going to throw. But in this situation, I don't, I don't think that's. I don't think the throw is really anything that's going to be 
coming in from CJ. Yeah, just look at the vision control as well. It's so yeah. unsafe for Samsung to go into their own jungle at all. And they are going to set up for a dragon. At the very least, there aren't wards from CJ now down onto the bottom side because there True. was no dragon before, and CJ was a little late on setting up for this. But it doesn't really matter because they can just fight. Yep, and dragon Coco fight, is. They will. And Lulu has a Medjize now. And a teleport that she could use right now to get in there. But Shy's already there, so he doesn't even need to. Here we go, dragon taken by Samsung again. But CJ, it just, it just doesn't matter. CJ's like, all right, get, get two dragon stacks. I guess I'll just keep pushing. Well, the dragons are what is preventing this from being a perfect game for CJ at the moment, considering Samsung has no kills and no towers so far. Yeah. So they were able to sneak that one. CJ sloppy in terms of their control. They should have backed sooner, but they did eventually end up getting a tower. True. Bliss. I keep waiting for him to flash to try to ult space again, but we've seen that. Uh, that's hard to do against a Sivir. Yeah, Sivir definitely good champion for this composition. And and they, they have good disengage in general with yeah. Cassidy as well, so hard to actually hit that Cassie ultimate. Yeah. They can speed space up quite a bit, too. Well, more poking going on. And CJ still kind of hanging out. Yeah, get that ward. Nice. 30 gold. You earned it. Looks like we're just going to continue split pushing with Coco for the moment. CJ yeah. temporarily backing down. Sivir, not sure what space is doing down there. Wander, wandering around the pit temporarily. He's just uh, pushing back the wave, I guess. Well, he, he was now, but you know, I was talking about oh. before. Easily well, cleared by Shy in that mid lane. Yeah. Trying to split pretty up much. their enemies right now. Space has had been pretty low mana this entire game. You can see he's just focusing primarily on pushing waves with Ricochet and Boomerang Blade. He just doesn't need to go back. That's, that's, that's why he's low mana. I mean, I guarantee you he has enough to finish something at this point. Oh, yeah, he's got his shift done, but yeah. I'm just saying he's been using his mana to clear waves to keep Samsung on the defensive here instead of right. saving it up and trying to use it during a team fight or force that at a certain point. There's his shift done right now. We'll be, we'll be building most likely into Last Whisper next, although I suppose that could be a Vamp Scepter. It could be. Actually, at the would you go Bloodthirster here just for safety's sake, you think? That's the question, right? Yeah, I mean, they don't really, honestly, they don't really need the yeah, damage. I, you know what, I think, I think I would. I think I would, even though Mundo now has a Randuin's Omen, I still think that the safety for space, considering he is a full core item up, is worth it. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, Samsung, they're not just in a world of hurt, they're in a galaxy of hurt right now. <laughs> And CJ, I'm surprised uh, that they're not forcing this a little bit harder. They could certainly play around with the Baron at the moment. They have a bunch of champions capable of popping over these walls and yeah. creating picks. Mundo on the retreat at the moment. Looks like Coco and Madlife. You know, if there's not an article about Samsung this season called Galaxy Quest, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Just throwing that out there for anyone thinking about writing about this team. There's a good name for your article. You're welcome. Cargo yeah. doing a little bit of poke damage, but Bliss has a couple shields from the turret, as well as from Janna there to prevent that from happening. It's just a yeah. wave clear from Cassiopeia. It is good. Yeah, and it's just the zoning too. Space, even with shields, can't comfortably move up and deal with that. Yeah. Looks like finally we, we will be seeing a Lich Bane coming out of Shy. But with the play, the Lich Bane would have been better earlier. The way oh. they decided to play this game, Ambition, taking a little bit of poison damage right there as CJ sets its sights up on the top side. Shy still with no teleport. They could make a TP play right here, but he would, of course, wouldn't likely lose the turret. Yeah. Well, they're trying to set up. They, it looked like they maybe wanted to set up some sort of pick onto Shy, but oh, they're going to try. All right, even Wraith coming down. Easily Shy, though, backs off. Yeah, they've got those wards. Shy has the necessary tools to prevent people from getting in behind him, which is really the only way you're going to catch him with that whimsy. Yep. So, all too easy for Shy to deal with that. Well, this game could take a little while. I, you know, I almost feel like, does CJ maybe just bait Baron to try to force a fight here? Or do they just go for it with the next dragon? Because you know Samsung's gonna try to be 
going for that dragon. It's really the only thing that's giving them a sliver of the tiniest of chances. They, they, they don't have any chances. <laughs> well, but yeah, pardon I mean, me, Monte Cristo <laughs> hype killer. That's me. Kill it hype all day, every day. The hype slayer. And Shy is finally going to chip through this turret. Now the opening in mid created as well with two people in the bottom lane. Coco yep. has also pushed that wave up, so it's like CJ be getting this inhibitor quite soon, and then they can transition very easily over to that Baron. Conservative game from CJ this time, not taking true really any risks. Mad Life gets knocked up. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Several activated. Coco comes in for some damage. Everyone gets pushed away, but there's a tidal wave knocking up again after the Janna ult goes through. Couple kills coming in already. Bliss going down. Kube barely survives, but the inhibitor is going to be an easy victim wow. for CJ. Coco absorbed so many cooldowns yeah, right there. Uh, with the Zonyas as well as just the wild growth and the shields from Lulu, so offering an attractive little bait right there. You know, it's it's funny when Bliss uses his ult, it's like it it's like nothing even happens, you know. Yeah, you know, we haven't even seen it this game because nothing has occurred when he has used it really. Yeah. Very yeah. true. They dragon will set up for this dragon. Make well, it quite easy for them to tank. They have the speed shrine. Mm -hmm. right CJ in doesn't front. get this dragon. I'm just gonna like leave and go home. I'm like, all right, that's I'm, I'm done, <laughs> CJ. If you don't get this dragon, that's it. All right, it's all on the line for me right now. They better get the dragon. <laughs> That's right. Oh, okay, they got it. Good, we're safe. Eve tried to come in and steal it, but no, no such luck. Coco can't quite finish him off, though. A lot of damage coming through onto Samsung. The Whirlwind pushes people back. Fury getting very low, and there's a Wild Growth knocking up Kube. He's in trouble. Bliss trying to come in onto Coco, who's slightly low health, but Space able to grab the kill there. Coco, more damage put down onto Bliss there. And now is the time for Baron. Everybody going to yep. recall. Start setting up for that. Shy just going to push up mid before he recalls, it looks like. He doesn't really have mana, though, so it's not going to go very quickly. Yeah, and Bliss, I mean, he just had a really rough time in the laning phase, and yeah. that's not his fault. When you're playing a champion like Cassiopeia, yes, okay, well, I'm not going to say it's not his fault, but your jungler has to be there, and you have to be communicating with your jungler like we talked about earlier. And Take a look at this team fight again. There's the dragon heading over to CJ and is everybody else on the run and Kube doesn't get quite knocked up right there but does get that armor shred. Fury gets away even through the ricochet and then they turn on to this very tanky ulting Mundo but thanks to the extended glitter lance and the grievous wounds from the Morello Namicon they are able to take down even an ulting Mundo. Yep. I must be doing pretty well in terms of those stacks at the moment. Yeah, I would think so. We haven't seen him clicked on for a little bit, but he's got a few at least. Yeah, well, he would have maximum five more, so maximum ten right now. Oh, Ambition gets knocked up, goes in for the big knockup. There's a huge Cataclysm. Everyone pushed out, though, by the Janna ult. Oh, they get the kill on Ambition. Fury extremely low as space comes in from the side. Coco over the wall for more damage, and now Shy rushing ahead as well to try to make something happen. They'll trade one for one. AD carry going down. Yeah, but losing ambition right there prevents yeah. them from safely doing that Baron. So that's pretty bad, actually. Although we do see Shy with the Lich Bane right now, so they can execute a 3-1 push. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt anything. I mean, they've got a wave of super minions coming up in bot lane. Looks like they might still be able to get this inhibitor. Bliss pushing up a little while. Uh, Space actually tanking that turret bit. thanks to Ricochet. Yep. So, but they no, will didn't really take it down badly. at the end. Shy is there. They have to deal with the super minions on their Nexus turret. Another inhibitor goes down. Now ambition's up. Now, polite CJ applause from the audience. Can go for that Baron if they so choose. CJ just playing this really conservatively. Actually, they should just walk over to Baron. Yeah. But instead, they're clearing the jungle, denying as many resources as possible from Samsung. Right? Well, when you can kind of drag this sort of thing out too, it it hurts the morale of the enemy team a little bit more as well. It's true. So they're just, CJ is just merciless. No, playing around with their pink ward vision at the moment. Yep. Trying to set up a pick as Samsung inches forward. Hey, they're going to get this pick too. Here we go. Eve getting caught. Coco flashes out. A lot of damage comes through. Whirlwind doesn't prevent too much. Yep, easy kill onto Eve. There goes Bliss. And two kills just like that. Hi, Tidal Wave. How you doing? 
And that's going to be a Baron, that could be an inhibitor, that could be whatever CJ wants. Uh, you should definitely go for the third inhib right now. That's yeah. that's the, the power play at the moment, because you can always do Baron with Whoa. super minions in the enemy base. You may not always be able to get this inhibitor, so that is the right call. Yeah. Oh, they might just be able to end here. Nobody really in trouble. Mad Life hanging back, but that's all right. Coco's a Coco, bit low. wow. Yeah, taking a lot of damage from that turret. The wave there is still pretty good for CJ. Wow, Kube running in onto Coco. They're going to take him down very quickly. Right, Kube, mean, there goes the next Nexus turret. Just nothing Samsung can do. Fury chunked out heavily yet again. Ambition comes in for another kill, but it's too late. And CJ wins the game in dominating fashion. Nearly 20,000 gold ahead at the and end. On a bunch of comfort picks as well. You, yeah. That's the thing about CJ is that we didn't really see anything different from them in this first game. And if they can comfortably win against Samsung, why would they show their hand as they try and face down some tougher opponents in future weeks when they ne may need those surprise pickups? Meanwhile, yeah. Samsung, I feel their draft just really hasn't been to their team's strengths. Yeah, you got to wonder what's going on as far as 